This is spray paint, and this is a mailbox. And today I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to customize your mailbox with spray paint. So let's get started. This is my buddy Phil, and recently I painted a 20 foot graffiti logo inside of his brand new shop. He loved it so much that he gave me a Ferrari. I'm just kidding. He actually wanted a mailbox painted just like the wall. Obviously just not 20 foot, because they don't make 20 foot mailboxes. Silly. First, you're gonna wanna sand your mailbox and then clean it off really good, just like you would a tumbler. And to make it super simple, since I'm starting with a black mailbox, I made an outline of what I want to remain black. I'm gonna do a voice over y'all good. That actually looks really sick. Should just leave it like that. Video's over, show's over, let's go. Just kidding. Now, all we're gonna do is take our three colors of blue and then spray the fade on the letters. I'm gonna start off with my lightest color, just like the graffiti logo I spray painted inside of his shop. Then my middle color. And just a little bit of the darkest color on the very top. Things have a little plug in it, huh? Bro, I'm gonna switch nozzles. Now I have to go back with the blue. To fix our speckle a bit. Don't forget, always wear your respirator. Whoops. That was a horrible technique. There we go. That's it, it's empty. It's empty. I like it. And then we'll let that dry. We'll come back and mask it off. So we can spray the background. All right, it's been about two hours or so. It's completely dry. Now we're gonna mask off the letters and we're using just regular old transfer tape. There we go. Got a nice little layout. You can barely see the letters through it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pencil and trace it and then cut it out with a fresh, brand new X-Acto knife. With the precision of a surgeon, he guides his scalpel across the cadaver or mailbox. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm laying down a few light splotchy layers to mimic a wall like graffiti is typically sprayed on. Now add some various colored speckles to further mimic that grungy block wall texture. And honestly, 
This might be one of the most fun things you could do with spray paint. Like, barely press the trigger and make it rain paint everywhere. It's fun. Now one of my favorite things to do lately is to make stencils out of poster board with my X-Tool laser. It's so easy and I mean, come on. It's a freaking laser bean. And what graffiti design would be complete without paint splatters? Now when painting my buddy Phil's wall at his shop, I made giant paint splatters out of poster board with my X-Tool laser. Now for this, I'm using these point and shoot stencils. I love using these point and shoot stencils. And I'll put a link to some of my favorite ones in the description if you want to check those out. I wanted to color in my stars with a white Poshka marker just to add some nice finishing touches before I take all the vinyl off to reveal what we left black. Then take it to my buddy Thomas to lay down a super slick glossy clear coat. And then finally off to Phil's shop to deliver the goods and to see what he thinks. I think he likes it. Look at those pearly whites. <laughs> 